Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've hooked up our battery source, our 12 volt source, our positive feed and our negative feed. What we're going to do next is attach our remote control panel. The remote control panel is done with a Cat5 cable and we can just go ahead and insert it into remote 1 and we can actually power up the unit. As you can see, our lights came on in behind, so we know our inverter is working because we're actually running our lights that we're using for filming off of that. We're going to go a little bit more in depth into the remote control panel and setting up the function of the inverter. Okay, so now that we've got our remote control panel installed, we're going to go ahead and power up the inverter. Again, you're going to see the lights come on in behind us. When it first comes up, it tells us what it is, inverter charger, 3000 watt, and what the software revision was. So what we're getting now is our DC voltage from our battery. We're running at 11.8 volts. We're actually drawing off the battery 96 amps. On the AC side, we're producing 119 volts and we're consuming 8.2 amps AC. Okay, so now that we've got our inverter charger powered up, there's a couple settings that we want to change. The inverter chargers all come with default settings. Default setting on the battery chemistry, the incoming shore power, and the charger settings. So we're going to go in and configure the inverter charger. The first thing we're going to look at here is going to be the inverter, or sorry, the charger on and the inverter on. Those are fine. We're going to leave those. We're going to scroll down till we get to the SCR setting. Right now it's set at 30 amps. I know that 30 amps is going to be high for the installation we're going to do. I want to go down to 15 amps. So I'm going to press enter. I'm going to minus down to 50, sorry, I just passed it, 15 amps. I'm going to press enter one more time, and that's set at 15 amps. We're going to carry on down to battery type. I'm going to go ahead and press enter, and again down. I've got the choice of flooded, gel, or AGM. Today we're using a Discover AGM, so we're going to leave it on the AGM setting. I'm going to press enter and scroll down. This is going to be the set the current on the battery charger. I'm going to press enter. I know I've set it down to 15 amps which is only equivalent to 60 amps DC. So I'm going to bring it down to 60 amps. Press enter and I am done. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go back up to Equalization mode, seeing how we're using an AGM battery, we're going to make sure that the equalization mode is off. That's it for the setup.